Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you my everyday festive tablescape that I did for Mike for breakfast before he went to work. And I want to thank my sponsors of this video, Cricut, so let's get started. <music> So friends, I am up super early making my breakfast casserole for Mike before he goes to work. I, I wanted to do something special to celebrate the holidays here and there because, you know, everything is a little funny this year. We're not getting together as a family like we traditionally do. So I'm trying to sprinkle some really kind of festive things throughout the month uh, just to really uh, make it a special Christmas uh, for Mike and I. And so I figured I'd get up super early, which you know is not me, and make these breakfast casseroles. I'll make mine and his and I wanted to do this before he went to work so that he could just kind of have a little fun before he starts out his day and I'm also going to use my Cricut to make some fun DIY to make the tablescape really just kind of holiday friendly. Now one thing that you can do with your Cricut that's a really budget friendly wonderful thing is to take fabric and have your Cricut cut it down into squares for you to make really straight squares and then use those as your napkins. They're really inexpensive, no sew which is definitely <laughs> all I'm all all about that life but it really is a way that you can if you want to make your family a fun tablescape throughout this month and use different fabrics to make your table look different it's all about using those white dishes that you use and changing out the napkins a really affordable thing to do now many of you are on this journey of me learning my Cricut and so I really am enjoying sharing my little projects with you and one thing I'm doing is I'm going to um, actually the design space is which is their program that you use to kind of create your design and I'm using the pre-made templates because I feel like as a newbie to the Cricut, it's a good way to start by learning how to use your Cricut and just kind of going through the motions of creating projects. Now, one thing I wanted to make was my little table card to put a message to Mike. But, you know, if you're like me and you don't have the best handwriting, this is awesome because I got these gold pens and I'm going to just write a little kind of Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday message to put on his plate. So I thought that would be a lot of fun. And Cricut is going to not only write that out for me in a beautiful way, it's actually going to make the slit so that I can stick a little kind of embellishment on the little um, table card. And that's a great way uh, to create little table cards that are just fun and, you know, cute for your family. And, you know, this one here never leaves my side. I looked over to the side while I was preparing all this and he had snuck on the sofa, which he know he is not supposed to be there. But I don't care if I'm up at 4 a.m., 3 a.m., he is going to be by my side. This is my partner in crime here, Mr. Albert. Now that I have Albert straight about sitting on the sofa, the casseroles have been put in the oven and they're done and my little tags are ready. And and I am ready to now put together my tablescape. But you know, there's one other little DIY item that I wanted to do with my Cricut. I've been itching to do this. What I did was I got the wine bags, which Cricut does sell the wine bags, and they are the cutest. They're in the white, so they're really versatile. You can do a lot with them. And I went ahead and I created my Christmas tree, and I wanted to put this on the bag. And this is really my tester, so I'm using Mike as my tester, but I'm thinking I want to do this as my gifts to my neighbors this year because I thought it'd be something simple to do, cute. I can customize it with their names on it, so I thought that'd be a little fun. So I was excited to see how my Christmas tree came out. And this is a little lighter, so it's not on the, um, I knew it was gonna be more of the kind of ombre looking lighter color, but you know, you can do so many things with this. You can do the vinyl, you can do, uh, um, it is in a metallic gold, you know, it's just limitless. I love that I, it can have the two handles on here so I can just hang it on my neighbor's door. I'm going to put their name on it like the Reynolds and, and have their little emblem, you know, you know, whether it's, you know, I think I may try to do them in a vinyl and um, iron on next. So it's just a lot of fun. I thought that was a lot of fun. So now I want to put this little simple tablescape together so that when Mike comes down, he has this nice surprise for, um, to start his day and and a lot of fun and then I'll probably go back to bed and sleep a little sleep in a little bit um, after staying up so late but this is a Christmas tree that I had got from Marshall's I love it because it's nostalgic for me my mom had made one when I was a teenager and when I saw it in the store I immediately attracted to it and I love that it has the little lights on the inside it's perfect for my table it's a battery operated but it gives the perfect perfect little sparkle and light um, to the table very simple but you know I love that just simple clean and white simple white dishes um, I'm putting my uh, beautiful 
um, breakfast casserole here and it turned out great and I also made some uh, muffins too, some cranberry muffins but I'm using my red goblets here if you've been with me a while you know I've had these for years here you know I, how I love a sweater mug too so of course Mike's gonna have that morning coffee so I'm sitting out a mug also so that he can have his orange juice and the mug and I have some of the spike, um, sparkling grape juice there if you want to mix that with his orange juice and of course my DIY napkins and again this those napkins are just so inexpensive to do and my little message to him here that I can sit right there on his plate now this is a plate that Mike's mom gave me and of course many of you know that she's no longer with us and so I wanted to sit it out because he knows these and he loves when I use his mom's plate and so I thought it'd be a nice way to you know kind of start out his day and so I put the cranberry muffins there and I put them in kind of little uh, festive cups there which I'm sure you could probably make those with your cricket also so this is just something fun that I wanted to do to kind of you know just have something to do for the holidays that's festive and fun you know to take away from all the craziness that we're all kind of dealing with so I hope you all enjoyed that and definitely check out my description box but I'll put the link to Cricut to where you can get those items below I hope you all are finding ways to have a super Merry Christmas I will see you at the next video and this is Nikki saying goodbye